No, no, that's not I'm right. messing with you. <laughs> no, I, 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 might be the reaction. Oh God, I'm sorry. You look familiar. Actors swim in a sea of glory and money, but they can't always avoid embarrassing situations, especially when their co-stars are responsible. Some of these celebs said the wrong things, while others did the wrong thing. And thanks to the internet, these awkward moments will live on forever. Oh God, how do you know about this? Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper, Things got pretty awkward for Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper at the 2019 Oscars. Unless you've been living under a rock, then you probably know that the two actors co-starred in the film A Star Is Born. So it was perfectly natural to assume that these two megastars would be sitting side by side at the awards show. But that didn't happen and there was a good reason for that. Irina Shayk, who was Bradley's girlfriend at the time, was sitting right in the middle of the two, which caused the awkward meter to spike to the max. But there's nothing wrong with a girlfriend sitting next to her boyfriend now, is there. After all, Irina and Bradley had been together for four years and even had a daughter together. Well, apparently, Irina was not too happy with their sitting arrangements. The media kept insisting that Bradley and Lady Gaga were more than just friends. And although the three of them denied it, a viewer dubbed Irina the hashtag pickle in the middle. But given that Bradley and Gaga had so much on and off screen chemistry, it's easy to see why people were stirring up the drama. Especially after the two of them performed a steamy piano duet on stage, which made it it seemed like they were both made for each other. Zendaya and Tom Holland Zendaya met up with her Spider-Man Far From Home co-stars at Disneyland for a day of magical fun. Along the way, they greeted fans and took some awesome group shots to post on social media. But unfortunately, her co-star Tom Holland wasn't as savvy with the concept of tagging people as he is with web-slinging. So when one of the group photos got posted, he tagged Zendaya in a totally inappropriate place. But once Tom realized he had messed up, he relocated Zendaya's tag to her right eye. But he didn't get away with his social media faux pas without a hitch before he fix things, the actress called him out for not knowing how to properly tag someone. But she totally laughed it off and added five crying laughing emojis to the comment on the photo. Fortunately, netizens were laughing too. But this little incident flared up rumors that the co-stars kind of seemed too close for comfort, almost as if they were dating. And although they've denied their an item countless times, Zendaya came to Tom's rescue when trolls posted nasty comments by saying that he's just Instagram stupid. Well, he's definitely not a pro. Lena Dunham and Brad Pitt Girls creator Lena Dunham and mega-hunk Brad Pitt were in London for the premiere of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. In the film, Lena played one of the Charles Manson's followers while Brad played a stuntman named Cliff Booth. But things got really weird on the red carpet when Lena tried to go in for a kiss and Brad didn't see it coming. Like, at all. Was he heading in the direction of Leonardo DiCaprio or director Quentin Tarantino? Who knows? But one thing was certain, he definitely wasn't ready for the actress to step in front of him and try to open mouth kiss him. But that's exactly what she tried to do. Lena even tried putting her arms around him, which made this moment so cringeworthy we could barely look at the photos. Lena had previously admitted that she loved the fact that she got to flirt with her co-star, who has been single since his split with Angelina Jolie. Kit Harington and Emilia Clark. Game of Thrones fans know that Daenerys Targaryen and Jon Snow were the ultimate power couple. In fact, their romantic scenes were so intense that viewers would almost swear that the actors playing these roles were head over heels in love too. But boy, were they wrong. It turns out that their sizzling romance didn't translate very well off screen. During a romantic moment by a waterfall, the actors couldn't help but laugh because they saw each other as friends. So it was pretty weird for them to look at each other and pretend like they were more than that. But for the sake of their characters, they managed to make it work because, you know, they're absolute pros. But that wasn't even the most uncomfortable moment they experienced. During a feature for Variety, Emilia shared that Kit would pretend to throw up during the romantic scenes. In fact, HBO released a a behind the scenes video that showed him gagging at the camera while talking about a steamy love scene. Emilia is also good friends with his wife, Rose Leslie, which only made the scenes even more awkward, especially when the three of them have dinner together after he and the mother of dragons share a smooch on camera. Talk about awkward, right? Jennifer Lawrence and the film crew. Jennifer Lawrence always looks stunning, whether she's on the big screen or on the red carpet. We still don't know how she pulls it off. But on the set of Red Sparrow, J-Law made heads turn for all the wrong reasons. The actress admitted that she made the film crew uncomfortable when she took off her clothes in between scenes. During an interview with Entertainment Tonight, she stated that everyone had made her feel super comfortable, but apparently the feeling wasn't mutual. While she was eating, she felt a bit hot and didn't feel like wearing a robe on set, so she bared it all. At that point, 
point, everyone had gotten uncomfortable and wanted her to cover herself up. Ironically, she admitted that she felt fear and insecurity when it came to stripping for a role. But she proved to the entire crew of Red Sparrow that she definitely overcame her anxiety on and off camera. In the film, the actress played a Russian spy who winds up falling for one of her targets. And during a nightmare sequence, she also bears it all in front of a class full of people. And in true J-Law fashion, she was very comfortable with it. Scarlett Johansson and Brie Larson Scarlett Johansson and Brie Larson kind of look like they've been besties forever, but were they really good friends? The bond between them clearly wasn't as strong as it seemed to be, especially after the stars went on the Ellen DeGeneres show to promote the film Avengers Endgame. They did some serious reminiscing when Ellen threw in a couple of questions about their friendship. The talk show host asked them if they had texted before meeting each other, and Brie told Ellen they actually did, which shocked the hell out of Scarlett who knew that wasn't the case. So she asked Brie if she remembered how they met, and the star was truly convinced they met at dinner, which wasn't right either. It turns out that the actresses had met when they worked on the 2013 film Don John, but when Scarlett pointed it out, her co-star was stunned for a moment. The actress laughed it off and claimed the reason why she forgot was because she felt like a glorified extra next to Scarlett. And ScarJo simply smiled at her and replied, I noticed you, Brie. I noticed you. John Krasinski and Emily Blunt John Krasinski learned that sometimes you have to do whatever it takes to make your wife happy while he was getting ready to direct the horror film A Quiet Place. Of course, at the time, his wife Emily Blunt didn't really care too much about starring in the movie. She had just had her second baby and was about to start shooting Mary Poppins Returns. She felt that the film's dark theme would dampen her light, so she suggested that the role go to another actress whom she considered a good friend. But here's where things get a little bit awkward in the Krasinski-Blunt household. Apparently, once Emily read the script her husband had co-written, she fell head over heels in love with it. But instead of letting it go, she asked John to fire her friend and put her in the film instead. Then she joked on the Graham Norton show that her friendship with the unknown actress would last until the film was released, which is really not that shocking. But she did clarify that her husband never actually got around to sending her the script, so technically the other actress was never hired. Zendaya and Tom Holland the wonderful Zendaya and Tom Holland played Michelle and Peter Parker in Spider-Man Homecoming and its sequel, Spider-Man Far From Home. But when they met for their on-screen chemistry test, things were seriously awkward. She had gone in for a hug, but Tom went in for a handshake. At least that's the way Tom remembers it. She told Variety that she didn't remember it happening that way. If anything, she thought that their first time meeting was actually pretty cool. But there was one thing that concerned her. She was very tall and Tom wasn't. Zendaya didn't want the height difference to make things too weird, but lucky for them, they did the audition sitting down, and that actually paid off as their chemistry on camera is undeniable. And as it turned out, the co-stars were absolutely incredible together. They instantly became friends, and to this day, Zendaya and Tom try to keep each other sane in the midst of all that Marvel madness. So naturally, when the paparazzi spotted them riding through LA together, rumors that they were dating went flying. But Zendaya came out to set the record straight that she and Tom were just friends. Jamie Dornan and Dakota Johnson Dakota Johnson and Jamie Dornan were put in a seriously romantic situation in the Red Room scenes on Fifty Shades of Grey. But then she went on the Today Show and explained that the romantic aspects were more of a task. Dakota felt like their steamy scenes together were pretty technical and choreographed. But rumors had it that the two of them didn't really like each other one bit. And it was hard to argue with that during the 2017 Oscars when Jamie proved he was in no mood to humor her on stage. At the time, the two stars went up to present at the Oscars, but things got very awkward very fast. Dakota had turned to her co-star and jokingly told Jamie, You look familiar. But did he come up with something witty on the spot? No. He simply wagged his eyebrows and replied, mm. I'm sure I did. <laughs> Once she realized that pursuing some friendly bantering with her co-star was like injecting medicine into a doll, she gave up. And the two of them soldiered through one of the most uncomfortable moments we've ever seen among co-stars by continuing to follow the script on the teleprompter. Sometimes you just have to play it cool. Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt went on the Graham Norton show to promote their film Passengers, but things got very uncomfortable between the two of them after J-Law shared a culturally insensitive story. While on the set of The Hunger Games in Hawaii, she explained that she had accidentally displaced a sacred rock. It happened after she sort of sat on it to scratch an itch on her backside. She had been warned not to do this, but she didn't listen. And the rock almost cost a sound person their life when it rolled down the mountain. Jennifer claimed that the whole situation was super dramatic and that Hawaiians blamed the ordeal on a curse. She said,
but a lot of people thought the whole situation was too awkward for words. The Hawaiian people believe that some stones are a reminder of the spiritual world in the physical plane, but Jennifer didn't realize her story would rub people the wrong way. However, Chris, who had lived in Hawaii once, wasn't very amused with his co-star's little story. He remained silent and didn't give J-Law any feedback. She later apologized on social media when she realized she offended everyone, but what happens on TV stays on TV, right? Which one of these moments do you consider the most awkward? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco. Bye for now.